Good morning. I am going to take you all on a journey today of what exactly I do to what, well, what exactly I have been doing to get myself back into shape because, you know, the past couple of months I have let myself go a little bit because I was in the middle of a bad modeling contract and I wanted to terminate it earlier and I, I wanted to terminate it early, but I wasn't able to. So I just let the contract ride because it was only a few months left. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to watch what I have to eat. I'm not going to work out. I'm not going to do all this stuff. And I had fun. And now it's time to get it back together because it can't be sustained long term. So I am getting back to it eating healthy, watching my calories, going to the gym, and I'm going to show you what exactly I do in a day since, you know, I don't start work till later on, so I could cook a little content up for you guys. It is 10 in the morning. I just woke up and it is just hum. waking up with the sun just like piercing through the windows. It's just refreshing. And, oh, here comes the dog. As you can see, I still have boxes. I'm still unpacking myself. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Hi, my handsome. This is every morning. <laughs> oh, thank you for the kisses. Mm. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. But anyway... I'm going to show you what I eat. I don't know if I'm going to work out today, but if I do, I'll show you the workouts that I do. And I'll show you what I do day to day. I'm finally out of bed. And the first thing I do is I always use the bathroom, which I'm going to do next. But I wanted to showcase, that's why my head really isn't in, me putting on my waist trainer on. If you've seen one of my last few videos about uh, the last time I was in Miami, um, that I got something in Miami, I got lipo. And as you can see, the scars aren't even there anymore. I have to keep my, my stomach in shit because I got what it was called um, fibrosis. It, it's what happened when you get lipo, when you don't get the after massages, I only got three after massages. I didn't keep on going. So what I had was where the tube was coming out of, that's where the fibrosis is. You see that little lump, like it's flat, and then it's like a tiny little lump. So that is like hard tissue. So what I've been doing is I have like this wood therapy. No, it's not your toy. I have like this wood therapy thing, and then I just like, just to break up the tissue. It hurts so bad. Just to break it up. To increase, you know, blood circulation and lymphatic drainage and all that stuff. So I do that. And as you can see, it kind of went down just a tiny bit. And then what I do is I put my faha on so that I can mold my stomach. Now I interchange between the second and the third. I'll do the third today, I'm feeling skinny. <laughs> so then I just, oof, oof. It takes a while to get used to, but after you get used to it, you're fine. Plus with putting on, with the nails on, it's hard at first, but like I said, you get used to it. Now, don't ask me where I got this file, what size it is. I don't know any of that. I got this so many years ago, and it still fits me, so. I got it a little bit small. That's why it still fits me. Um, but yeah, that's me with my file on. She's real snatched, you know. All right, I gotta pee. I did my pee pee. Now what I'm going to do is 
take care of this mane. I would put on the main light so you can actually see me, but you know, the little nah. annoying. So what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I put in my leave-in cream from Monet. I'll link the store below where you can get your own. I put just a dollop of that. Because my hair is very light and it's starting to get very fragile because I stopped using money and well I didn't stop using it I just didn't use it regularly like I used to what made my hair strong um this is the rejuvenic oil because I got a job at Sally's and I wanted to try the products before I you know, talked about it, sold them, stuff like that. So I can't like work at a job and then <laughs> only talk about Monet. It's like, what's the point? Like, why are you even working there? You know? So mm, I was testing out products and the best way to test products out is if you use it yourself. And when it comes to blonde hair, you can't just use anything. Especially like heavily, ouch, a heavily like colored and treated hair. You just can't use whatever. So, oh, but it's that, that is my mantra. If you want to learn about something, if you want to talk about it with knowledge and all that, you have to use it yourself. You can't just go by what someone has said or what someone has experience you have to use it and experience it for yourself you know so with that being said monet works for me and i'm not letting it go um but i'm also a redken girl so it's like between those two so after that where's my i don't know um i use the intense repair treatment they have a new packaging of this um, but I still have the old packaging. I don't think they sell this one anymore. They have a new packaging with like a new, a new, um, what is that? Consistency. So I have the old one still. So I don't have the need to get the new one. So what this is doing, it, it just, it has Capixel in it. So it helps with hair regeneration. And if you have like, Thin hair, it helps grow the thicker, helps the hair grow even more. So I do it. I used to just do it on my hairline, like right here where the baby hairs are. But now I just do it all over my head because, you know, why not? It's going to speed up the hair regeneration and hair growth process. Why not? But look how long my hair is, you know, so it does work. <laughs> And it's nice and thick and all that, so it's like really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My hair is all brushed and now we're going to get something to eat. Now I'm debating if I want some. Hmm. Now I'm already going to be making my smoothie. I tried this out. I got to the Dollar Tree because you know, frugal friend over here. Um, the strawberry mango blueberry. I was like, it tastes a lot like mango. Um, I had, um, when I was drinking it, I was like, I have to throw a banana in next time to cancel out that mango. I was like, oh. but, um, I'm going to be making a smoothie. I'm going to be defrosting my breast, my chicken breast. Trader Joe's girl. Um, so I'm debating if... I'm gonna eat this, some tater top, and then make it with some of this. What is this, sausage links? Who knows, that could be my breakfast slash lunch. Um, or maybe a pizza. Mm -mm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that. All right, now, oh, you see my, my mode of transportation, 
my little scooter. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be bedazzling this soon. However, I'm going to be getting another scooter because this scooter only goes like 12 miles per hour. Not 12 miles per hour, um, 12 miles per charge. So I always have to charge this thing and I always have to carry the charger and I'm just like, this is not worth it. Let me just invest in a more expensive scooter so that way I can go longer, like longer distances and I won't have to take a bus and then use the scooter after mine as well just use the scooter the whole entire trip, you know? Um, but yeah, I can go like further distances and since I'm not exactly in Miami, I'm like on the outskirts of Miami, I'm like 20 minutes outside of Miami so I could actually use my scooter to get to jobs and stuff like that and to visit friends and to do whatever I gotta do in Miami if I had a more um, expensive scooter. So if it's like more expensive, it goes like anywhere from like 30 to like 40 miles per charge. So I'm like, hmm. So still saving for that one because that's like a thousand dollars that I don't have. Um, So I gotta stay with that one. But I don't know if I'm gonna be bedazzling this one or the next one that I'm getting, so I'm still cooking, you know. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna take this, my sausage links, which has two servings per container. Um, a serving size is three links, and it is 210 calories per serving. So 210 times two is two, and then it's four, 420. So 410, 420 for that. And then this, there's mm, there's six servings per pack, 100 calories per serving, so it's 600 calories. So 600 plus four, six, nine, so 1,020 calories for lunch and breakfast. Give us all me, baby. Give us all me, bothering me because it's about time that we take him outside for his walk but I'm filming this and I'm hungry I really am hungry so Ooh, I'm famished so I'm going to be what is this called I'm going to be air frying my tater tots and I'm going to be microwaving my sausage links and then I'm going to take him for a walk and then I'm going to show you how I make my little smoothies for later on because I try to have one to two meals and then one smoothie and then maybe one snack if I have enough calories for the day. Because I only eat 1,600 calories a day when I am, you know, trying to get this bloody right, you know. And then I burn around like 300 calories maybe at the gym if I go. Or by doing like random stuff like walking around, going to work, stuff like that. Um, so then it ends up to being like 1,300, maybe 14. Um at night when I'm done so I like did all the calculations and I lose about a pound a week if I eat 1300 calories around roughly um every single day so <clears throat> and then on the weekends I like overeat um I eat like 1800 calories maybe um 2000 20 uh, 2200 sometimes maybe who knows but you know add that all together and then it'll tell you how much you lose during the week so be careful with that. So, we're gonna be making these things. We're taking these tater tots and we're putting it in the air fryer. But, oh no, not done. But, garbage. So, what I do is this goes in here. Take some Pam, or in this case, uh, Publix. Spray the end at the bottom of it. And then take the tater tot. Those pieces.
and then throw them in. Let that cook. And then after, while it's like cooking a little bit, and then like a little bit of the ice has um, melted off, I go in with like the salt and the pepper and all that stuff, and then I let it cook even more. Yeah, I'm gonna use the berry banana for this smoothie. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to take a full bag of the berry banana, a scoop of my ghost protein, and then a scoop maybe of this to make it even chocolatier. But I don't know, maybe I'm just gonna do two scoops of this instead. Isn't this view just so peaceful? Like honestly, who would have depression with this as a backyard? Speaking about depression, I haven't been taking my depression in like two months, for my depression medicine. So this is a good move for me. It really was. <clears throat> Come on, babe. Not only is it the weather or, you know, the environment. <sighs> But it's also like the animals that I come across, like the little lizards that pitter patter every time someone walks by. It's like the most funniest thing. And I just laugh every time I sweep by it. Come she. Plus she loves it. So I got my faith shirt on. It's such a beautiful day. Right my handsome. Yeah. I'm gonna write into my journal and it just helps me get centered and get my thoughts together because often I I just I've actually um, implemented re-implemented this into my my daily uh, to-do list and it just helps me get my thoughts together because my head just like constantly goes over and over and over with just thoughts and stuff and it just helps me get things out of my head and onto paper you know and it just helps me get Chi Chi. I have to get centered, you know? So. Ugh, come on, Chi. Stop trying to eat the goose poop. He loves to eat the goose poop. It's disgusting. Whew, but yes.
had a little bit of the rice that I made. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Mm. I had a little bit of the rice that I made. Um, and then I had a little bit of Doritos, but you know, a little bit. You know, I eat whatever I want as long as it's portion controlled. And that's how you should look at life too. Don't restrict yourself, you know? Have fun with it. Oh, sorry for disturbing your peeps, babe. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to start getting ready to head out. Um, well, I was watching Girlfriends. And um, yeah, I'm going to start heading out and go on my way to work. And then after, because I get out at 8, after I'm going to be going to the gym so that I can sit in the sauna and just decompress. And that's just like my, you know, like say la. And then I'll come home and then do it all over again tomorrow. <laughs> I just got to work. You know, I would have recorded myself scooting, but I can't scoot and record at the same time. And then, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'll find someone to record my scooting, but anyway. I'm going to do these two little four hours and then I'm going to record my little workout at the gym. And then we're going to finish up this video. Bye-bye. <laughs> these are not it. Mm. I want my $3 back. Mm -mm -mm. That's what I get for trying something new. Mmm. Which is not it. Gross. They're not expired. They're just nasty. Mm -mm. These, again, not it. So I just got to the gym and I am sitting in the sauna right now. It is packed. I am not going to be working out. It was a long couple hours at work today. I don't feel like dealing with people. I don't want to talk to nobody. So I'll just sit in the sauna and just, you know, woosa. And this is going to be the end of my day. I'll work out tomorrow. I get out early anyway. So I'll do my full, my full body workout tomorrow. I'll record it and do a separate video. And that is today's video. Those are the things that I do to get back on track. And, you know, it's just the mindset. That's really all you have to think about. Again, it doesn't matter what you eat as long as you portion control and change the mindset that there's bad food, good food, and the fact that your worth is through your, um, your size and the weight that you are, which is not true. You're good enough just as you are. It's all a mindset. And as long as you feel good, you look good. All right? I will see you guys in the next one. Adios.